Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. Yes, these are the Cop Diaries. Chance for me to play with my favourite club, Liverpool. And as you can see, FM, FM Football Manager 2019 is not difficult. If you have a good team. Um, I was a bit disappointed that I couldn't keep my clean sheet run going. Um, we conceded our first goal against uh, Manchester United in a hell of a long time. Brighton came very close to ups upsetting the apple cart. Yes, um, they played really well. Um, we tried our best to break through, but um, they did a very good job of making it difficult for us. And uh, now we have a game against Juventus coming up as a Champions League. Uh, the calendar, well, I've gone in and we've got a few training uh, schedules. I mean, I've set my training schedules up, so I should be able to prepare for it pretty well. Um, I might. Because I've got a few days rest, so I might do this um, attacking corners as well. Attacking movement defense, your shape defense. We've got everything here. Uh, yeah, this is not too bad. We'll get we're getting nice. We're getting prepared for this match against Juventus in a good way. Uh, and uh, dynamics, as you can see, there's not there is nothing I can do to improve it any further. So team bonding is no longer a part of my training, and uh, I'm gonna do a thorough guide because. There is a way to do a lot of things in this game. It's very efficient when it comes to training. I find it is extremely efficient. I've gotten some very great, I mean, phenomenal growth in my players. Um, I'm also doing a few um, saves on another machine uh, where I run my training schedules to see uh, what kind of development I get for my players. And I'm happy. I'm really happy, especially with uh, the youth players as well. So... Everything seems to be working out very nicely. Uh, it's not really that hard. Uh, oh. He's, uh, he was doing a sprint during training. He's out for two weeks. Sheridan Shakiri, I feel sorry for you. So we're going to get ready for this game. Juventus is going to be a... It's probably going to be a tough challenge, but uh, will we continue our fine run in the Champions League? Only time will tell. Uh, this is going to be a big match for us. I'm going to use the liquid 4123 that I th I'm not sure if um, you've seen it on with the Staley Bridge Diaries. It was originally set up with uh, Man City in mind, but so far I think we're kind of happy with where we are. Shakiri is injured as we already know, so he's not going to be available. Uh, Fabinho is suspended for the match, so he's not going to be able to play. So we've got Henderson, Keita and Wijnaldum. Uh, Woodburn Coyle is going to be making a... He's going to be going for this trip. I got Keita. I uh, got Van Dyke in goal. So he's going to be... Van Dyke in Gomez. And... Um, yeah, it should be fine. I think I'm going to watch the development of this player very caf very closely. Um, Milner. Milner, what am I going to do with you? Um, Henderson is okay. This is it. Man City are out to get Marco Asensio because at the moment... So, look at us. I think we got more. So, this is how we prepare for the big match against Juve. We've got team work, defensive position, attacking movement, defensive free kicks, attacking free kicks, defensive corners, attacking corners, penalties, passing, marking, pressing, and set-piece delivery. We have everything covered for the big match. <laughs> so, we don't take any chances. If it's the Champions League final, I want a small bonus for everything. Okay, so we got tactics all set up. We're gonna use liquid the uh, liquid football setup. I've got everybody in their positions. Armani. The only problem is Fabinho is suspended. So that, it's a bit of a disappointment that I can't I can't turn to him. But you know, I should have given him a rest. I should have just given him a holiday. Some players are unhappy. Allison wants a new contract. Trent Alexander Arnold wants a new contract. I'm sitting on some yellow cards as well. Um, oh, this is interesting. Hope none of them, hope. If one, two, three, four get yellow cards in this game, we are in a world of hurt and Nick in a return leg. So we better we better win this tonight. Okay, here we are. It's a Champions League festival. The ultimate question is, can we keep this run going? Dibala brings the ball forward. You're supposed to play for me. Ah oh, shit. Let's go very attacking out of the gate. Who wants to play Mickey Mouse safe football? Uh, tempo, let's bring it down. Let's change all that before I started the game, idiot. Ronaldo. The man. The legend. 
Okay, run a defense. Okay, we got De Costa with the corner. It's cleared. Mane brings it out. He finds Salah. Salah goes. Here you go. Somebody pick it up. Robertson with the ball. Uh, De Costa now with the counter attack. It's end to end football here in Turin. It's Cialini with the chance to cross the ball, but doesn't do anything with it. Another corner routine. Looks like it's slightly different. Henderson clears it. Mane one more time. Dybala. Goes around the whole defense, but gives the ball. What? And that was an elaborate attempt to pass the ball to Salah. Cellini, Pjanic, Bonucci, Rugani. My goodness, these are some good players. Rugani, not so. We could exploit Rugani. Uh, Ronaldo, Bonucci over the top. This is a oh, Higuain. Higuain is playing for Juventus. Okay, Gomez out to Mo Salah. Mo Salah will play to Firmino. Firmino. Gets it to Salah. Salah looks and he's in the box. What a goal from Mo Salah! <laughs> what a start from Liverpool. What a goal that turned out to be. So Firmino played. Nah, we got to get our data analyst, man. This sideline view is going to be better. Go to Salah. Salah tried to get it. They couldn't clear the ball. For some bizarre reason, they played that. Salah got inside the box. Too perfect control of the impossible angle scores. Got, we've taken the lead. This is my system which if you if you defend, good luck to you. Because I'm gonna be getting so many players involved in transitions. I don't care about possession right now. It's all about attacks, man. Oh, Mane is injured. He pulled up. Shit. Mane is 79%. He's pulled up. Ben Woodburn will be called in case he can't play. See the Ben Willer. Most likely he's gonna be Ben Woodburn. Or maybe even... No, 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 no. The last time I saw this, it was a bad injury, okay? I'm not going to take a chance. It's happened to me before in this game. It cheats, you know? This is the cheat that the game has. Um, a player... You, you see the player hold, uh, pulling up short, and then they don't tell you it's an injury. There's no indication that it's an injury, right? So, and then you, you carry on playing the game, and then after the match is done, they tell you it's out for three weeks. So I'm like, no chance for it this time. Mo Salah, uh, Mane is really important in this system. So is it a Ben? Ben Woodburn has been exceptional for us. I'm going to bring on Ben Woodburn. This is a great day for little Ben Woodburn. Ben Woodburn, it's your chance to shine in the Champions League. It's Robertson to Henderson to Wijnaldum. And we're playing a... a I'm, I'm very confident uh, of this system. 4-1-2-3. Uh, it's liquid. He's got a lot of players taking part in trying. Who the hell are you going to mark? Uh, Alexander Arnold. Guess it. What a move from Alexander Arnold. He beat the player, but now he's going to run. It's Ronaldo. He finds Higuain. Higuain is offside. Okay. We've got Gomez now. Finds, plays it to Keita, to Henderson. We're settling into our controlling. Uh, the way I like my midfield to be set up. I don't know whether you guys remember, but. I explained it in a sh in one show. I'm looking for a particular shape in my consolidation phase. If I get it, means I know that the tactic was set up correctly. So Robertson, it's an elaborate W in um def in the midfield consolidation phase. Robertson brings the ball forward. Oh, he does brilliantly. He gives it to Firmino. There we go. This is like a W. I mean, but he's already in here. He's supposed to be somewhere around here. And the other player somewhere around here, but my inverted wing backs are just running in really. There we go. The W. Them after. This is it. Chung 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 chung. Keita. Vinaldum. Look at I just love this. Who is this? Henderson just bomb forward. Okay. This is one of my f I mean I don't know, I've got a few favorite tactics right now. Second goal. We knew it was gonna come. Ha <laughs> ha! No way you can handle liquid 4 1 2 3 system. There is no way you're gonna take us on. You can be as cautious as you want. You're finished. You way. Look at that. They found it to Salah. And Salah pings it to the far post. And Woodburn scores his Champions League goal. What a de. I don't know. It's not really a debut. I think he's had a, a few Champions League matches. But what a day for him to score. Cellini, we've got two away league goals now. Uh, we're playing very attacking football. Uh, let's see now. This should be matched that bus. I love this. For, I don't care about possession. It's 
Oh no, the Costa Higuai. So the idea here is with the system is very simple, right? I want to have a lot of support duties because I have a decent team, right? So 3 nil from defense to attack, perfect transitional play. So look at this, Alexander Arnold, inverted wing back, comes all the way in there, pulls the ball up, gets it to Firmino. Firmino says, guys, who wants to go? And Ben Woodburn comes in and says, thank you. What a goal for Woodburn, it's the second goal. Oh, they're ripping Juve up. Yeah, I love it when play, teams now play defensive against me. Robertson now goes back, brings the ball forward. Look at my, my inverted wing back. Yeah, love it. Here we got a free kick. Mo Salah into the box. Oh, Chesney has got to get that. It's Juventus 0, Liverpool 3. We go back, Keita. And this is bit of Fabinho. Mo Salah cuts inside. Oh no, this is looking bad for them. There are too many players in the box. Did you see that? Holy cow, this is a stampede. <laughs> Virgil van Dijk, Rinaldo misses a great chance to make it 4-0. We've got a throw. Alexander Arnold. Oh no, this is not looking good for them. Mo Salah to Wijnaldum, Henderson to Wijnaldum, Keita. So the idea here is to have a lot of support duties. But the, the, the thing about formations right now in, in football is I like this because there's a logic to uh, the FM19 is following. And I love the logic because it's all I've got to do about how the spaces that you control and the spaces that you attack. And if you, and if you, think, that, if you think about them carefully, we shouldn't have an issue. Gomez to Vinaldum, Henderson. So we we're playing a four one two three and look at this. Look at the way we bring we get numerical advantages everywhere on the pitch. Now we on this transition, it's four players. All right, so we're gonna get it to Salah. We go into the next transition. Is an it's now we got this going on. So we got four coming in. They they split. The whole team is there's nothing they can do and we maintain the shape here. I've taken inspiration from Manchester City and how they've been playing this season. I was specifically looking for their consolidation play and trying to spot how they how they set up their consolidation phase. And that was all I needed. And yeah, it's done. Oh, for me. It's another goal for Liverpool. What a goal from Bobby Firmino. This is out to Mo Salah. Mo Salah, look at the movement. I cannot ask for anything more. Firmino brings it in, then skips one, gets into the box, and then smashes it off. They, they, they have no absolutely no choice. Okay, look at this transition, right? This is what I was going for. This is why I call it liquid football. You will not know who to mark. Okay? Go one, two, three, four. Who the hell are you marking? Any one of them is a viable target. Right? Mo Salah brings in the ball. They've got to, he takes four players out, which is the goal. My goal is for the person who's coming in, he has to take four players out, not two. Four. That was the, that was how I set up my system. So it takes immediately takes four players out of the system, and that's it. We bring the firm, you know. These four players are out of position now. This guy's a is, Rugani is a problem, okay? Because we, of the movement of Keita. Now Keita comes in straight with his defender. Is no choice. What am I going to do? I've got to follow. I've got to follow this guy. So he has to come in and close down, right? Firmino is the ball. This defender has to look after him. What if Firmino decides to pass this way? Or go this way. So Diego Costa does, does the right thing, moving this way. Right. So then, boom, they drop the drop of the shoulder, and it comes inside the box. Costa is now. What the hell am I gonna do, man? He's free. And what a goal! This is good. This is just tearing their defense apart. Four nil. Pjanic to Rugani to Bonucci. It's Cellini. It's a. Uh, Dybala, you might, I want to sign Dybala this season. I'm looking for a good, good like AMC to sign. Oh, looking for youngsters to get into the first, who can get into the first. Dybala, oh my god, they would have been my first goal from a corner in a hell of a long time. Dybala again, Pjanic, it's good defending. De Costa, Ronaldo tries again. And score. A few shots in this half. Alexander Arnold, Henderson to Ronaldo, Alexander Arnold again, finds Salah. To Firmino. Firmino loses out. He go in now with the ball. And uh, they get it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo from outside the box. It is a great goal. It's the first goal from outside the box in a sh long time for us. 
And it has come from magnificent Ronaldo, man. First time we've considered in a hell of a long time. Yeah. Okay. We're going to positive. We don't have to concede any more goals. Let's keep it going. Let's get more goals. Uh, tempo to go up now. Okay, we've got Anderson now to Firmino. Firmino to Keita. Keita. The ball has taken off him. Jolini, Bonucci out to Ronaldo. They can play the ball out from the back. Ronaldo brings the ball to Dybala. Dybala to Costa. Costa shoots. It's not, it's not an easy win. Um, Mo Salah gets into the... It's a out shot from outside the box. Mo Salah makes it 5-1. My goodness. This is, this is getting to be a really bad day for UV at home. But Mo Salah... I can score from outside the box too. They didn't do any. They didn't do very good defending. You see, this is the problem with the UV. I set up at the moment. The channels too big. Being defensive, right? This is the wrong tactic for them. With about ten minutes left, Allison plays it to Gomez. Gomez to win all of them. Gomez now finds Mo Salah. They work the ball out from back to front. Oh, Keita now finds Firmino. Ben Woodburn to Keita to Firmino. Win all them. He's gonna shoot. No, Alexander Arnold. Anderson, he's picked up a yellow card. Keita shoots from there, gives it to the keeper. Rugani. Yeah, they defend that well. That's it. No one expected... I didn't expect us to win by 5-1. I mean, I expected us to win this game, that's for sure, but not by a margin of 5-1. to one. Don't let it get to your heads, boys. Yeah, that was a hell of a win. Five-star Liverpool triumph. Send the assistant. Basi Salah has scored again. He's got two goals. How did this match actually pan out? I don't think there were a lot of clear-cut chances from us. Yeah, one. So we were just pinging inside the box. Juve didn't have a lot of chances. One, two, three, four. Decent ones. I mean, one from outside the box. But basically nothing much. But we were just rampant inside their box. It's a really, really... I, I like our performance. Yeah, this is liquid 4 one, two, three. I call it... In fact, I've got a whole set of tactics that are liquid. Right? So I call them my liquid football style. And uh, it, the, the pre, it's not the preset that makes it liquid, right? It's the support duties. So, you get a lot of players in, playing in support, moving up the pitch. Uh, my training is important as well. So, when I do training, I've got like um, a set of schedules that I use for liquid. Um, basically, my playmaker schedules. So, a lot of my players are training first touch decisions off the ball vision. So they, they all have to do this. And um, I'm trying to get... You know, it's, it's been working so far. I'm not really complaining. And I, the same system was just used by Staley Bridge for the first time. I, I, they normally play the, the Firefox, good, bad or ugly preset. And uh, this, th this team just went and hammered them. This is a good result for us. It worth the wing back. In with two double inverted wing backs to get a W shape. I got DMM, DM on support. I don't want him. I, I want a very um like I need a midfield that is not locked in, right? So I need them to be able to move around. And this is important because of Henderson. Now Henderson, there's some there are some players here. Henderson is not a bad choice in difficult matches because he comes deep to get the ball. Normally, I play for Binio there. He likes to switch the ball and he play it plays with tempo. Then we've got Kater here. Kater plays one twos, likes to switch the ball to the other flank. Is this roaming playmaker role that I like? Because if when I get have a player that gets further forward, gets forward whenever possible, uh, arrives late in the opposition area, I smile because this is what I want from my roaming playmaker or the position that's playing there. Sometimes it's roaming playmaker, sometimes it's a heavily customized central midfield on support. Essentially, it is almost the same tactic from FM18. Yeah. I did the Manchester City replication in FM18. I only used one inverted wing back. The other one was a the other one was a wing back. It's exactly almost exactly the same setup. There's not there's no difference. Except um the, the roaming playmaker was changed from I had a roaming playmaker for this match, but it's CM on support. And I didn't use overlap shouts in FM18 because uh, they were they were behaving in a different way in FM18 compared to FM19. In FM19, overlap shots are just brilliant. They're just, just, just amazing for you to play uh, those kind of games where your fullbacks and wingbacks are further posi uh, positioned further up the pitch. So if you want to play something like this, then um, if you want to play this kind of football where 
You get lots of players involved in transitions. So much so that the AI doesn't know because it's the AI, I mean, if it, whether it's the AI or a real person playing the game, who the hell are you going to mark? you got four or five players coming into your box and they're all standing in a position for them to receive the pass. Your defenders are going to have what I like to call a decisions dilemma. So they will, the, the attributes that they have are going to ask them to make a decision. And as we can see, even good players will make a bad decision. Cellini is slow, but he's playing on the, as a left back. Why? Why? a huge mistake so the moment they play with Cellini on the as a as a fullback on the left flank is game over for them they can't defend against my team because Cellini is always not there I was easily pull out of position I think this is a this is a pretty sad Juventus team I mean to be honest with you Cellini is 35 years old the AI is keeping him because in Serie A they can last till 37 years old they can keep on playing but that's a pity. That's a pity. So they've gone out. Play man of the match was Mo Salah with two goals, two assists. What a game! Firmino scored. Ben. So my my trifecta or my tri my uh, my f strike force. All of them scored goals. It's quite common for us to score a lot of goals with Firmino, but Salah has chipped in with a few goals. He scored two. Uh, then uh, Ben Woodburn on the flank scored two, and then Bobby Firmino scored one. I love our performance. This performance is a good one. And uh, I'm glad to see that we're doing okay. I mean, it's not hard. FM19 is actually quite easy. It's the easiest FM I've ever encountered. Uh, the whole thing about FM19 is you got to know your team and you got to set the right defensive line for your team. So if you're not sure of your D, if, you, if you're afraid of it because I was playing with a DM as support so there's going to be a risk that we're going to concede from long shots you don't want to concede from long shots just play one with an anchor man if you aren't if your defenders aren't very good then play with a holding player or an anchor man or a defensive if you're not defend now if you're if your three players in the middle can have got good position off the ball you know they've got a solid mentals then you can afford to do something a bit more imaginative a lot of people have complained that central midfielders stay too close together yeah but that's because you're using the wrong rules or you're not using the pi stay wider uh we don't have that problem uh so cater goes wide once in a while so i'm i'm happy with the way they stretch teams and uh learn how mentality works in the game a lot of people are making a mistake i see so many mistakes and i've done a small little pictorial image for the fm quick guys it just puts mentality in its place like you know Mentality is such an easy concept. A lot of people overcomplicate mentality and it start assigning it a ridiculous like thing in the game. Like they go like, okay, if you want to play defensive football, you have to play on lower mentalities. I mean, Jack, that's like complete bollocks. Okay, you want to play defensive football, choose the right rules. That's it. You know, choose the right uh, defensive shape. You, you your shape dictates how you're gonna play. Whether you're gonna be defensive or offensive, it's your shape. It's not your it's not your mentality. Mentality is just a risk. Mentality just helps your team decide what they're going to do with the uh, the ball. It doesn't tell your team to be more defensive, which is kind of... I mean, I, I, I think this is always... I've always been a big critic of this, right? Because, yes, it, you're defensive in terms of risk, but it doesn't necessarily mean your team is going to hoof the ball. You can, you can play keep ball on... You can win games on very defensive. There's nothing wrong with playing very defensive football. What you do is... All you got to do is, when you want to play on the lower mentalities, think of your tempo. Think about what, basically, look at mentality and ask yourself what the f does mentality affect. Then go and change those things. And the biggest hint you can get is looking at my PIs, right? So I'm playing very attacking football. And what have I changed? When you, have you noticed I do this in the game? I drop my tempo. And that's it. That's the only thing. That's the only real change I do. Of course, I have other small little tweaks that I make in the game. Like, you know, I'll affect the passing of one or two of my players. He's got pass it shorter. Take fewer risks. So, so think about what you can do in the game to influence the way your boys play with the ball and keep with the ball. And that's all you got to do. This game is not that hard. People make it hard. People overcomplicate things. And some, some sites... Overcomplicate the shit out of this tactic, so you don't have to do that. And uh, yeah, of course, it makes it easier if you're playing with a really good team. I'm playing with Liverpool. Fuck, they can win everything because this is getting embarrassing, man. 
So with uh, it's still green. Bloody Norwich spoiled the color party. Would have been green perfect had it been not for Norwich in the League Cup semi final. I had to be a stubborn fool. I had to go and put the youngsters in the thinking we'll beat them because I'm on a high already. I see Burnley 1 0. I should be 1. Uh, but it'll be hammering goals. Ever since I switched to this, uh, I mean, I've switched to liquid football since um, the Norwich game. We've been playing liquid football all the way. Well, Brighton was a holdout, but everything other than that, we're just storming our way. So now we've got the League Cup final. And then it will lead to United and Spurs. Can we keep this winning streak going? Will it be a 38-0-0 season? I don't know. This is getting to be a very, very interesting season. And uh, I don't care what the players think. Watford defense. Everybody is now playing defensive, flexible against me. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to use my liquid system on them. And just keep hammering these shites. Because the more defensive they get, the worse off they're going to be. Yeah, that's how confident I am of you know, smashing sides now. Well, I hope I enjoy. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Cop Diaries. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustin or addicted to fm.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Cop Diaries. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com. My website. Once again, I want to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel and make these kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.